Well, today I am making chicken stroganoff for dinner. It's one of my favorites. I remember I was at an FBLA, Future Business Leaders of America, uh, at a convention in high school as a senior, and we went to St. Louis. It was my very first time of staying in St. Louis, Missouri. And at this convention, we, we ate in this revolving restaurant. I can't remember the name of the hotel. It was there right by the arch. But we stayed in this hotel, and we ate at the restaurant, and that night, they served us chicken stroganoff. I thought it was the most delicious thing I'd ever eaten, and I could never find the recipe. And years later, uh, there's a, a traveling salesman, and he stopped by my parents' house, and the guy was trying to sell him cookbooks and all kinds of, of different kind of books. My dad said, if you have a book with the recipe chicken stroganoff, I'll buy it. He looked at this big, thick book, this big, thick cookbook, and he looked through the book, and sure enough, there was chicken stroganoff, and my dad bought that book. I cannot find it anywhere. I kind of changed the recipe a little bit to tailor it to our tastes, because we don't cook with a lot of spices. It's pretty, pretty plain, a little salt and pepper, and that's about it, maybe some onion, but that's all that we really cook with. So I'm going to make my version of chicken stroganoff, and we're going to start out with a whole chicken. There it is. And I'm going to rinse it off, clean it up, which is, this one looks pretty good. And after you have your chicken rinsed off, get a, a really big pan, and we're going to boil it first, which is here. And I'm going to put the chicken in the pot, turn on the water, and uh, well, I'm going to cover the chicken completely. And we need salt and pepper. And then we're going to put it on the stove. I turn it on high at first and get it really hot. And then let it boil for probably a couple hours. So the chicken is nice and juicy and tender. And then uh, well, we'll get the chicken done and then we'll move on. this on high. Here we go. So here we are. We're making chicken stroganoff. We have boiled our chicken. We have drained the chicken. The broth is now what we're cooking our noodles in. They're almost done. When we deboned our chicken, we put a bottle of the fat-free butter, salt and pepper, about a quarter of a cup of onions, and we are sauteing our chicken in that butter mixture and it's almost ready to eat. We're very close. Uh, all that's left is to drain the noodles, put the chicken in, and mix it with about a half a cup or more, however much you like, of sour cream. I can't wait. My favorite dish. Oh, and here's the way. I don't know what the proper way is to test a noodle, but I just take a noodle from there. Mmm, tender, perfect. Turn it off. We need our colander. We need our colander and we're going to drain those noodles. And since we don't need the broth anymore, I guess we can just drain it right in the sink. You know what? Let's pour a little broth into our chicken mixture. How about that? Maybe about a half a cup of broth. That'll keep it being real juicy. So I have drained the noodles and I just put it back in the same pan. So we, we have our noodles. We're going to put the noodles in. And just in case I've made too many noodles, I'm going to I'm going to bring some of those out of there. And we'll add some more back. Once we are determined how much chicken that we have. Because you just don't know. So 
we put all the chicken in. I use fat-free sour cream. Just a little healthier. And I would say this is kind of to taste. You know, maybe a half a cup. No, 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 this is gonna make maybe a whole cup in this. As much as this is making. I think I would use I would use about 10 ounces and I'm gonna guess that's probably a cup and a half, something like that. But most of this container, there's a little bit left in there. Stir it up and you have delicious chicken stroganoff. Hey Herb, we're ready to eat! The ingredients for chicken stroganoff are one whole chicken, salt and pepper, water, three cups of egg noodles, butter or margarine, one medium sized onion, and one and a half cups of sour cream. Step one, rinse and remove all the parts from a whole chicken. Boil the chicken in a large pot with water covering the chicken. Sprinkle with a teaspoon of salt and a pinch of pepper. Boil for two hours on medium heat or until the chicken is tender. Then drain the broth. Set the broth aside because we're going to cook our noodles in that broth. Remove just the meat from the chicken and dispose of the chicken bones and the cartilage. Step two, put the broth in a large pan on high heat. And once the broth begins to boil, add three cups of egg noodles, follow the instructions on the noodle package, and boil them till they're tender. Step three, melt the butter on medium heat in a large skillet. Add a third a cup of minced onion, one teaspoon of salt, an eighth of teaspoon of pepper, and stir. Add your chicken meat and simmer on low heat. Step four, when the noodles are tender, pour a cup of the noodle broth in the skillet of chicken and stir. Drain the noodles, then add the chicken meat with the noodles and carefully stir not to cut or mash the noodles. The final step is add one and one half cup of sour cream, add salt and pepper and serve. <laughs> 